Okay, today we're going to look at some special triangles. Uh, special triangles. The first special triangle we're looking at is the equilateral triangle, where we've got 60 degree angles at every corner. What you can do with this one, if we make the side two units long, and then we cut it in half, that makes the base one unit and one unit. It also makes this angle 30, and we have a 90 there. So when we look at our trig ratios, oh, first thing we have to do is figure out the height of this. So the height is going to be, using Pythagoras, 2 squared minus 1 squared, right? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So c, the long side is 2. So 2 squared equals 1 squared plus b squared. So the 1 has to go to this side. We have b squared equals 4 minus 1. And so b is the root of 3. So that height is the root of 3. Now we can do the trig ratios. So if we look at 60, the angle here, the sine of 60 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse root 3 over 2. And that's an exact number. It's not a decimal. It's an exact number written like that. The cos of 60 is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 half, and the tan of 60 is equal to opposite over adjacent, or root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. If we look at the other angle, 30, we've got the sine of 30 equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 half. The cos of 30 equal to adjacent or hypotenuse, root 3 over 2, and the tan of 30 is equal to 1 over root 3. That's opposite over adjacent. So that's the first special triangle. The second special triangle is the one where we have 45 degrees in the corner, both corners, and each side is one unit long. Of course, this is a 90. So we have the sine of 45. How long is this side? Well, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so we've got to have this side's going to be root 2. So sine of 45, opposite over hypotenuse, equals 1 over root 2. Cos of 45 equals adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over root 2. And the tan of 45 is equal to 1 over 1, which is 1. So those are the special triangles and their trig relations. And that's it.